It is Tuesday morning, the dawn of a new day, and one day closer to the January transfer window opening. So with that, it's time for your transfer news here on Fog Football. And perhaps the biggest transfer of them all was made official yesterday. That is Michael Beale signing on the dotted line to become the Rangers manager. He signed a contract for the next three and a half years. Game of Jesus. How do you think those three and a half years will go? Better than Gio, because if he stayed, it would have been three and a half years of hell. So I'm glad he's gone. I'm glad Michael Beal's in. Can't be any worse. I'm welcoming in the new era. New era, hopefully not the same old shit. New era, hopefully a bunch of new players should be a lot of signings, I think, for Michael Beal in the transfer window. I mean, I'm expecting at least three, four first-team players coming in to the Rangers team. Do you think that's about right? Absolutely, but, you know, the, the, the old ten million out in debt, they owe, they've, they've paid five million for the two managers. So, fifteen million before they even sign someone. I don't see many signings happening, personally. I can see a bunch of shite loans at the end, of this, like an Ahmed Diallo coming back in, sort of. Alright, so basically Celtic are going to dominate Scottish football for the foreseeable future. Now, speaking about Celtic, they are set to make Alistair Johnson official. Three million pounds! It's the report that figure that Celtic are going to spend and Alistair Johnson will receive 10% of that. So things go ahead. He's looking at a nice £300,000 payout and I wouldn't mind that. So yeah, Alistair Johnson to Celtic. You think it's going to be a good move for Celtic? And do you think it means the end of Josip Juranovic's time at the club? Yes, I think it spells the end for his time at the club. Could ever be... This window, I think if a right bid comes in, but realistically, I think it will be the summer. But then again, if it's not the summer, you've got three right backs who could have a case of starting, sitting there, like spare dicks. And, who, and, and whoever's third choice just ain't going to be happy with that. Exactly. So, like, I mean, I think it's safe to say that Juranovic is in front of Ralston right now. Is Ralston willing to be third when he knows Juranovic is going to be going? Maybe a loan move for Ralston would be a possibility in January. Loan him out for six months and then get him. But then again, if Ralston gets loaned out, that kind of cements Ralston behind Alistair Johnson in the pecking order. And Ralston might think that with Josip Juranovic going, that he should be the number one right back. So he might not want to go out on loan. He might want to stay at the club and prove that he should be the number one right back going forward. So it's interesting how things will play out for Celtic at that right back position. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of weird how Celtic could all of a sudden have three right backs that feel like they, they deserve to be number one. Whereas you look at Rangers across the city and I mean, they've only really got one right back and if anything happens to them, they're, they're kind of down and out and fucked. So yeah, Celtic with three capable right backs on their books. Um, let's move on. Josh Doidge is sparking interest in Italy. Serie A leaders Napoli are reportedly fighting it out with Lazio and Bologna to sign the Scotland under-21 skipper in January. And if a move goes ahead, then that will mean another pair for Hibernian, who have got like a small contract fee sell-on. Ah, it's a sell-on fee, mate. That's what you call it. That's I what can't imagine call. this is a lot. What did they sell for? Five mil? Free. Free. I mean, even if it's ten percent, even if it's twenty five percent, which ain't a lot. I mean, that's peanuts. That's nothing. Ah, but how much is he going to get sold for? That's the big question, Dick. Yeah, no, but I'm saying he's not going to get. He's not going to get sold for. How much do you realistically? It's not like he's going to go for thirty. It, it, I'd be shocked if it was ten. Well, hold on, hold on. All right, say it's ten, and Hibs have only got ten percent. You send a million pounds, fuck all to Hibs. Yeah, but it's what planet to, are you living on? It's nothing to like. Oh fuck! What are you fucking talking about? Of course it is. It's nothing to mark out about. So yeah, you think Hibs just wake up on the first of January and someone oh, says, on. "No, hold on." So you think if Hibs wake up on the first of January and some wee guy knocks on the door, Easter runs like, "Here's a million pound, mate," and, and the Hibs fucking chairman don't even fucking know his name or is it woman yeah. Leanne Dempster? Maybe. No, she turns around and says, "What's this million pound for?" And the guy goes, "Well, you know what." He paid the Royal Mail, he's like, ah, it's, it's a million pounds because, you no, know, at Club Hell is Feronis that you sold Dodge to, apparently they, they sold him on to the league leaders Napoli, so here's a million pounds, they'd be like, ah, I don't want it, it's only yeah. a million pounds. Maybe Hibs can mark out about it, but why should me, Rangers fan, mark out about it? I couldn't give a fuck. Because it's a million pounds going into the Hibs bank account, which, that's which therefore... Closer to the championship than Rangers. You got a problem with that? Right, it's, good, it's good, good for Hibs, good business. Any Hibs fans in the comments that actually have a clue Kevin, what's happening Kevin Nisbet's like, back, right? Does that mean he's going to go for his five million? Anyway, speaking of speaking of Hibs, 
Ryan Portius, another man that's going to be out the door. Another man that can't wait to go to Easter Road. Very weird that they announced that in a tweet, and that he's not re-signing. What the fuck? To be fair, I mean, I, I would probably want out of there as well. Have you ever seen that before? It, it fucking it, it sucks when you're somewhere that just suck, drains the life and energy at you. So I can, I can relate to Ryan Portius. I know how he's feeling at the moment. I've been there, done that. He doesn't think Still doing that. He, he doesn't think Hibbs can bring him success, so you know that's fair enough that he wants to leave. And uh, you know, could that be another? Uh, could that be another opening for Ryan Porteous? We've seen numerous Scottish players go to Italy over the past couple of years and have success with Aaron Hickey, Lewis Ferguson, Josh Doidge. Could Ryan Porteous be another name that we add to that list? Possibly, although I think it'd be a good signing for Celtic. I think it'd be a good signing for Rangers. I just don't really see that one happening. But I, I certainly think Porteous is a good player. For me, it would be an improvement on Welsh. I know some Celtic fans don't think he's got the quality to be at Celtic, but I, I think definitely. I mean, the guy's kind of broken into the Scotland national team setup now. I think he's more than capable of playing for a top team in Scotland. He is a bit so. of a car bomb, though, isn't he? So, debatable. I think it'd be a risk whoever took him. Do I want him at Rangers? No. Will he go to Italy? Will he fuck? He's never going to Italy. Who said he's going to Italy? Why, why not? What Italian club's going to want Ryan Porteous? Hell, hell is Feronis. They took Josh Doidge. Why wouldn't they ah, take... Well, hell, hell, hell no. Why, why wouldn't they? Because fucking Doidge actually came away about it. This guy comes with a reputation of being an absolute nonce. Sometimes he can be good and some... It's either good or atrocious. Bit like our feds. Your feds, mate. I'm the money maker. Alright, all right. well that's it, guys, for the uh, for the Scottish transfer news. Pretty quiet day here on Tuesday, so not a lot happening. Uh, like I said, Rangers have confirmed Michael Beale's the new manager. Celtic are they're pretty much already signed Alistair Johnson. It's the only thing we need to wait on here is to find out the official fee. Josh Doidge could be on the move after only joining Hellas Veronis what, six months ago, so already. Looks like he's impressing there. He's got two goals for them already this season in Serie A, and he's moving on to bigger and better things. And we have Ryan Porteous, who is on the move, but we don't know where he's moving to. But I think Italy could be a destination for him. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments on those moves, on those transfers, on those possible transfers. And that's it. We'll catch you in the next one. But until then, being for football, peace out.